Good morning, beloved. As you start to welcome in the day, let's do so from a space of gratitude and understanding of all that the universe has granted us with to be grateful for. Gratitude is one of the strongest vibrations recorded. When we align our spirits to the frequency of gratitude, it's easy for the universe to see and recognize that we understand all that we've been given. And therefore, that energy can align to give us even more. Aside of that, gratitude is a beautiful way for you to remember that even when life seems hard, you really have so much to be grateful for. One of my favorite quotes is by a woman named Wendy Jones. And that quote says, from the space of gratitude, lack cannot reside. When you vibrate at a frequency of knowing how much in your life you have to be thankful for, fear, scarcity mindset, low vibrational energies can't access your frequency. So this morning, we're going to wake up and we're going to choose to step into the space of gratitude. I want you to gently close your eyes if you're not doing so already. Allow your palms to face upward. In the mudra of receiving, I want you to take a deep breath into your nose, breathing in the air in your comfortable space, the space that you have to give gratitude for because so many don't have the same space. I want you to exhale, sighing out any low vibrational beliefs you might be hanging on to, any feelings of lack or want, any feelings of self-doubt. And we're going to gently repeat this breath just two times more, taking a deep inhale, giving thanks, and exhaling all that holds us back from gratitude. Finding space within your chest, your heart center to do that breath one more time. Giving thanks. <sighs> Letting go of any ungrateful energy. Starting this meditation by giving gratitude for our two eyes that opened this morning. Giving thanks to our hearts for continuing to beat even while we weren't consciously awake. Giving thanks to our lungs for the way that they continued to take breaths for us while we were in our sleeping state. Giving Thanks to all of our automatic organ functions, our autonomous nervous system, for our brains and how hard they work to keep our body functioning without much cognitive effort from us. Now I want you to tune into your heart space. And I want you to imagine a small ember 
growing in its warmth and its capacity to light the space around you with love. See images cross your mind of people whom you care about and love. Even if they're people from your past that you loved at one point, but maybe feel disconnected to in this moment. Give gratitude for how they showed up and allowed you to experience the frequency of love so that you may always know and recognize when it shows up for you. Maybe you feel overwhelmed seeing all of these faces Maybe they're family members. Maybe they're friends, mentors or teachers. Maybe they're ancestors that you don't even know. Allow this ember in your heart to explode with gratitude for experiencing love for those people. Now I want you to do the same thing with animals. Maybe you have a totem animal. I know I have dragonfly energy. I can fill my heart with so much joy when I see a dragonfly. Maybe you have a pet. I know when I see my dogs in the morning and they run up to me with so much joy, that type of unconditional love is so pure. Maybe you have a cat. And cats are special creatures because they're so selective about how they choose to give their love. So when they choose to show it to you, you just feel so worthy. Maybe you've gotten to do volunteer work with majestic animals like horses or elephants. Maybe the intuitive knowing of those animals filled you with so much joy and empathy. Imagine yourself understanding the frequency of a different species and knowing that you can connect with them in love. And give thanks for that. Continue to see that ember in your heart growing Feel the warmth of gratitude throughout your body. Now let's do the same exercise with things. A lot of people say that things can't bring you happiness. But happiness is a fleeting emotion. Joy is, is the emotion and the frequency of our spirit. But happiness, happiness comes and goes. So things can give you a level of happiness. Give gratitude for the things that you have in your life and the means by which you are able to acquire them. Maybe something that you're grateful for is the beautiful bed that you get to sleep in every night. The roof over your head. The vehicle that takes you to work every day. Maybe you're grateful for a job that allows you to work remotely. 
maybe you're grateful for the blender downstairs that allows you to make morning, morning smoothies. Maybe you're grateful for music and the devices on which you can listen to them. Maybe you're grateful for airplanes and the fact that you can travel and see the world and other cultures. Whatever thing that it is that you give gratitude for. Understand that you're so fortunate to be able to acquire and experience these things in your life. Lastly, but certainly not least, Find yourself basking in gratitude for you. Gratitude for the fact that you showed up this morning to make space for yourself in listening to this meditation. Gratitude that you want to be a better version of yourself and that you're working towards that, whether it's daily, or just once a week, honor the fact that you've given yourself space to show up here and take care of yourself in mind, body, and spirit. Thank your body for how hard it works to get you through the day, for your feet that serve as the catalyst to move you through the world, for your hands, that type texts and drive your car, pick up things that you carry into your house, like groceries or your backpack, for your arms that can wrap the people that you love in a warm embrace, for your stomach, no matter what it looks like, for its internal function, for the fact that it digests foods and gives you the nutrients that you need to move throughout your day. For your legs, your glutes, your thighs, your calves, the entirety of your bottom half. For its ability to run, jump, leap, dance. Hold you up for the fact that you have them, for your spirit, for a resilient spirit that pushes you through the world even when life gets hard, for a resilient spirit that shows up here in the mornings even when you may want to sleep a little bit longer. Give thanks for your face, for its uniqueness, in the way that it shows up in the world that everyone knows that's you. For your freckles, for your wrinkles, for your laugh lines, for everything that makes you human. Understanding that your body is just a vessel by which your spirit does the work it was sent here to do. See that ember in your heart, and I hope it's as big as a giant bonfire now. Feel the warmth radiating through your body. Maybe you're feeling emotional. Allow those waves of emotion to well up inside of you and be released with a silent thank you to the universe and to yourself for all that you've been able to experience, acquire, and understand in your human experience. I invite you to take one final deep breath, inhaling all that is good and that we have to be grateful for this morning. 
and as you exhale, breathe out the words, thank you. I invite you to start to bring your attention back into the space. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Start to flutter your eyes open, looking around and seeing all that you have to be grateful for. I thank you for practicing with me this morning, and I hope that this frequency of gratitude guides you into a beautiful, hopeful day. And so it is.